G'day punters and welcome to another super edition of Valley Form. We've got more perfect conditions forecast for tomorrow with another warm night and it's perfect for the continuation of Ladbrokes Friday Night Lights. Joining me from Ladbrokes is the resident Rayman. Rayman, how are you looking forward to tomorrow night? Yeah, I think this is a terrific meeting, Benny. Uh, plenty of depth right across the card and hopefully, as we always do, we can find a few winners. Well, race five is heat three of the Orbit Logistics Valley Summer Stay Series. It's also leg one of the quaddy. Who goes on top? I think Alvedon looks really well placed here, has opened as the clear favourite with Ladbrokes, and I do think it's a horse that's ready to win. Two race starts this preparation have been really good and should be now at peak fitness stirred up. I think the step up to 2,040 metres suits and uh, should have every possible chance in the run here. I think if he does bring his best form, he's clearly the best horse in this race. I think he's going to be pretty tough to beat here. And I think we can go fairly skinny in the quaddy here. I think there's only three real leading chances here. So number one, Alvedon, clearly on top for me. Number two, Mark. Colt, I think, is there to run really well. And number nine, Commando Drift. Race six is heat four of the Orbit Logistics Valley Summer Stay Series. And I think number four, Vada Boy, can win again for Simon Zara and Blake McDougall. I thought this horse was tremendous last start, and the ride by Blake McDougall was an absolute beauty. He rolled across from barrier 10, he controlled the race, and then he took off early. Uh, this is a horse who doesn't have a real turn of foot, so the initiative Blake showed there was awesome. I think he can do it. Uh, again, and I think the race sets up very similarly for him. I think a repeat performance of it will make him hard to beat, and the two-week gap in between runs is exactly what the doctor ordered. In the quaddy, I'll go two, three, four, five. Pacino, Maid of Iron, Vatterboy, and Young Hostess. I'm with the class at the top of the weights. The feature race of the night, Benny, race seven is the Tawny Night Cup, the old Mooney Valley Night Cup, and I think there's a really interesting field. There, some of the uh, more established day is in both Victoria and New South Wales have been entered for this contest. And I think the horse to beat is Chalkstream, who was just outstanding last start in the Australia Day Cup. Probably took him a while to acclimatise to Australian, to Australian conditions, but the way he put away his rivals in that race at Warwick Farm, where he settled at the tail of the field, shot a really nice turn of foot and won in dominant fashion. So I think a repeat of that performance would make him fairly tough to beat here. I think the small field's an advantage. He won't have to get too far back in the run. So I don't think King Charles will be on hand to collect the trophy if uh, Chalkstream does get the, the job done, but still nice to see uh, the King have his first winner at the Valley as well. So for the Quaddy. I'm putting in number one, Persnan. We know he's an outstanding horse on his day. Number three, Chalkstream. Number five, Swords Drawn was uh, gallant in defeat last start. And number nine, Eaton was really impressive at the Valley last start. Race eight is the Ranvit Valley Summer Sprinters Series Heat Four. And I'm with the toppy here at a nice each way price. His name is Elite Icon. Last start, he bumped into Holy Man's. He's a very promising three-year-old who goes around in the Group 2 CSA Stakes. He looks well on his way to go into the Australian Guineas if he runs well there. Well, look, we know Elite Icon has a brilliant record over the 1,200 metres here at the Valley. But I think last start, the soft six just took away from his finish a little bit, even though he was really game to the line. Tomorrow night, he'll get the firm surface he loves. The ground will compact. And I think the rail out five metres, that's usually conducive to on-speed runners. Celine Gordray will need to use a little bit of petrol to position him forward from barrier 10. But I think the $7.50 and the $2.50 uh, on place for each way betting is value. In the quaddy, I'll go with number one, Elite Icon, number three, Von Galay, number seven, Cobblestone Way, number 10, Our Goddess, and number 11, Pretty Tabby. All right, man, the best bet comes up in race four, I believe, this week. It's the Heat 12 of the Labrokes 55 second challenge. So also our cheering for charity race. Who gets the money? I always like it when I can have my best bet in the Labrokes 55 second challenge, Benny. I think this is the best bet not only on this program, might be the best bet of the entire weekend. Race four, number two, unflinching, is developed into a genuine Valley specialist. Now scored three wins from four starts at our favourite track. His record over these short course sprints is also outstanding, and there was so much to like about his last start win. I think he's really well placed here in the Ludbrokes 55 second challenge. I think he's a really good bet to make it back to back wins. Thanks for joining us again on Valley Form. We'll be back same day, same time next week to do it all again.